we're walking around talking, it usually means too that everybody is pretty well distracted by mm -hmm. darkness walking around talking. They're not worried about getting your phone out. So here we are at the uh, Exton Square Mall, at Exton, PA. This is actually a pretty notorious dead mall. Very, very beautiful property. It's covered in wood. But the owners of this mall, the Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust, Priet for short, Recently finalized the deal to sell this property to uh, a developer called Brandywine. Now Brandywine are not known for maintaining malls. And there's rumors going around that they want to turn at least half this property into like a big medical lab facility. So let's go check out Exton Square Mall at the very beginning of this weird transition. See how it looks. We'll come back later and check it out after they convert some of it. This skylight kind of shows you a little what I'm talking about with this wood. Handling the head, put it in the 90s. This is such a pretty mall. It really is. I really hope nothing bad happens in this place. Yeah, it would be nice if they had a kind of a, a conversion that kept the property intact. And I really hope that it is more of a mixed use kind of thing instead of you know, being so heavily weighted towards office space and whatnot. Well, I think it's gonna be medical for the most part. That's, that spot right there, that used to be a fountain. Not even that long ago, really. Like four or five years ago. Yeah. But, you know, but you, there's some infamous video out there of people playing in this former fountain. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that that probably is why this is no longer a fountain. You're absolutely right. You got a bunch of, you got a bunch of towny guys who think they're hot shit, and they ruin it for everybody. Nice flowers in there. I'm not sure they're real though. There's a particularly cool staircase they have here. Always try and get a nice shot of this whenever we come. Oh yeah, the logo is cool. Very cool logo. It 
They really got the music cranked in here tonight, don't they? Yeah, I've noticed that the last couple times we've been here, actually. But the dead hallways are still just as dead, aren't they? Notice that sometimes a lot of these dead places try to overcompensate for how dead they are with cranking the music higher. Of course. Especially since it's so cavernous now. But yeah. The 90s renovation they did on this place put all that wood paneling in. That's pretty cool. Of course, we got boss cops over here. What are you talking about? I've never seen that before, no. I've never noticed that before. No, I've never seen that before either. And it looks like there's something else over here on this one. Oh, this is like a... Yeah, it's like... Some dancers and singers and stuff on this one. I've what? never noticed this before. It's probably like local artwork or something, you know? Probably. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, indeed. It's always nice to see things that are beautified when they don't have to be. Yeah. Yeah, because those usually are just chairs or little cushions or something, you know? There's pretty much nothing open down here except for that spa back there and Boscos. Oh, we got a lens crafters though. Yeah, that one's closed for the day though. Yeah, we're here a little late in the evening because this place closes at 8 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, 8 o'clock is and, what their hours are. It's about an hour from us. Nice skylights. Very. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm pretty sure back there is like, there's like a big doctor's office back there. I've never seen it open though. Oh, we have some stairs. Wow, that's fun. Got a little exercise there. Now, uh, this particular Macy's right here used to be a strawberry and clothier. And I don't think they've done any renovations or upkeep on the property since it was strawberries it had to be at least oh geez 2006 but as you can see when you walk into the place the flooring is very old and there are i always just find it really sad about the duct tape on the floor. i was gonna just i was gonna mention the duct tape on the floor holding this place together with duct tape and bailing wire right <laughs> Unfortunately. It's pretty bad in some spots. And you can totally see the old 70s wood grain they got over, over top of this set of stairs here. I really like this particular spot though. It's probably my favorite view in the whole store. Mm-hmm, definitely. That's really super cool. But 
But this mall has an interesting configuration in that the mall is built around this one main anchor store here. Yeah, well, hence the square, right? But I love the tile work along the sides, though, with the sort of green and salmon. Yeah, it's very vintage. Yeah. You don't see colors like that much these days. Yeah, but it is a little different. Having a place that's in the center like that, you have to come into the mall in order to go to Macy's. Unfortunately, no pretzels today. No pretzels again. You gotta wonder when that pretzel place is ever open because we're here all kinds of times a day. I just don't think it. I just don't think it is. Pretty sure that guy's got a lot more responsibility on his hands right now. Looks like the white and black market's still open. They're just shut down for the night. Yeah, it's a very odd thing you know, with some of the hours that some of these dead mall stores. Look, look at the ceiling structure in this particular part of the mall. Yeah, this is nice and angular. This is really nice. It's like all the anchors have these wonderful like Vertically spacious courts. And that's where the spear Halloween goes in when the end of the summer rolls around. I still think it's funny they got the old Charlotte Roost yeah, over there. You know, that's been closed for some time. It's the signage yeah. is still there. Yeah. Now one of the, one of the cool things is the uh, fake plants over here. Yeah, I've always liked those planters with the fake plants in them around the entire second level like that. Oh, the loft is also still open. They're just closed for the evening. I should take a walk and see what the actual head count is for this this mall. I don't think it's good. It can't be very good. Oh, here's the, uh, here's that cool staircase I was talking about earlier. That's just a neat design. But yeah, there's a, there's a closed bath and body works over there. You know your mall is struggling when Bath and Body Works moves out. There's another cool skylight shot. Yeah, the Francesca's just moved out a little bit ago. That's a pretty big spot. This is one of the most attractive malls I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Very inviting. It's just a shame that nobody wants to come here anymore. Seems the most activity you see in this mall is in the robotics companies that are in, in a couple of inline spots. What's also kind of, you know, sad is that the only reason I think that a lot of this is so dead is because there's a big behemoth of a mall not long from here. The King of Prussia Mall basically crushes everything around here. That's a shame. That's kind of basically the case, you know, with what's going on with the Montgomery Mall these days, to be fair. Look at the size of that Boscov sign. 
I know, that's one of the biggest Boscov's logos I've ever seen. If that was down here on the floor, <laughs> it would be towering over you. And of course, since Boscov's is my favorite store, I find that one particularly attractive. Look at that skylight action. And I always like the generous use of wood panels in this place. Mm -hmm. That 90s renovation was spot on. I mean, it would be really cool to like step back in time and see what it was like when the old strawbridges and stuff was still here. But as renovations go, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Well, the 90s was a cool time for malls. For some malls, not so much. But for others, it was very nice. It was a very cool aesthetic. Yeah, I feel like they got it right here. No gyros today. Sorry about that. I don't know. I guess you could always just hop back there and make your own. <laughs> Damn it, I want a gyro. I guess I have to make it myself. Womp womp. <laughs> right over here is where the robotics club is meeting. They got a nice big junior anchor spot there. Look at that. I always find it really super cool that there's a robotics club in the mall. And anyone who knows anything about me knows that I absolutely love anything to do with robots. And oh, robots are cool. But yeah, it's like a... Yeah, club for kids to build robots. I think that's really great. Yeah, I always find that really fascinating thing to see in a, in a dead mall. And finally, everything in this hallway is completely done. Oh, I think the hallmark might still be open, maybe. Wow, that's actually an oddity, too, because to be fair, I've been hearing a lot of hallmark stores and malls are moving out. Banter by Piercing Pagoda. See, that's interesting in and of itself. First off, I don't even think they're open anymore. But that's kind of a, an odd move, you know, for Piercing Pagoda to be an inline versus... Well, this is actually a really big inline, yeah. too. I guess the rent's cheap enough. They're doing some work back there. All the lights are on, I hear some noise. And check out the former Hollister. This was a glow bulb also for a while. Yeah. Yeah. All the lights are on. I haven't seen it like this in a long time. I think they may be going to turn it over into something else. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to be one of the first spaces that they convert over to a different use now that the new owners... Well, they definitely cleared it out because there used to be a bunch of fixtures in there. Wow, yeah, it's like they've really cleared this space out a lot. That's crazy. They got this screen down here. I'm going to go over to the window. It's like every single light's on in that place. Yeah, it hasn't been like this in a minute, and... I don't know, it almost looks like they had paper or something. Yeah, like they, had, they had paper up. That's been taken down now. Yeah, they're definitely doing something here. Here's a good look inside the old Sears, for those who miss it. <laughs> this court is pretty cool, too, with the old wood okay. paneling. Mm -hmm. Step in front of your shot there, sorry. Oh, this is great, isn't it? Isn't that a lovely view? Excellent. This is one of those areas of the mall where you can really see the architecture. Rather quiet this time too, because it's like a lot of times you'll have a few, you know, frazzled parents with their kids down here at the little play area. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in terms of malls and such, this is like one of my favorite malls to just walk. Wow, everything in this little section looks like it moves out. 
and pay attention to this food court time. This is our food court for the Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, no, that's not true with an advertisement. <laughs> I don't think so. There you go. There's a nice skylight shot again. Yeah, this is where you can really see the rouse shine through hardcore. Well, this is back this when is they a, had a fountain back here. They, that square spot right there, mm -hmm. right over there. They used to have a fountain right there. Let's, let's walk over here a quick second. This is a quintessential rouse, though. It's like you can tell by the clerestory window up top. You still got the big American flag hanging. That's cool. And this just pops you back out to the parking lot again. So let's turn around. Look at this directory right here. See, this is what we were talking about with the square. Macy's is in the center and everything is built around it. Yeah, there's your Macy's and all the mall goes around the perimeter of it. It's a pretty unique design. Absolutely. This is the spot I was talking about before where they had a fountain. You can see where the pillars are. Yeah, I actually have a postcard of this exact spot. Maybe we should be on flashback to it. I was going to suggest that, yeah. In our... Do that in three, in video. two, one. Yeah, they dropped the ceiling. The ceiling used to be much higher, and it's like the fountain used to shoot up its way to the ceiling. Yeah. I wonder how many people who are walking around that we see right here currently have no idea what this place even was like. Probably not. I mean, if you're an old-timer, maybe you do. I mean, I heck, I remember the Oxford Valley Mall when it was still all dark and cool. It had the ramps and fountains and stuff. And I'm not an old timer. It's like everything wow. gone. Hot topic still soldiering on the Wow, well, they got a hot topic open. Hot topic is still soldiering. And there's on. a cotton on open over there. Well, it's closed for tonight. There have been several places that I've been hearing about that have picked up and left even quite recently. Now this is the food court. It's probably one of the best looking food courts you're going to see. Yeah, this place is absolutely gorgeous. It is really, really nice looking food court. They got all these live plants still. Yeah, I absolutely love the trees in this place. Growing right out of the floor. The trees are just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like you know, the, and with the wood grain and the skylights, it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking cool. But as far as 10 eateries go, no, I count two. We have Chick-fil-A and Charlie's. You know, Brad, when you um, Subway packs up and leaves. Yeah, Subway and Taco Bell are like, we're out of here. It's kind of sad too because it's like those are pretty much staples in some of these places. Even five guys left, that sucks. I think Chick fil A was one of the first in Pennsylvania though, wasn't it? If not the first. I think it was, yeah, I'm not positive, but I think you're right. Oh, they got a Mexican grill over here in the old, in the old Five Guys spot. Yeah. So it's just three, not two. That's neat. No, that's cool. 
been a, a new food eatery in X and Y. I did not expect that. Look at those trees. That's how you know they're real because they're growing towards the ceiling. Sure wish we could get a slice of pizza in this place though. You know what I mean? What's that? I sure wish you could get a slice of pizza in this place. Oh. That sucks. It's always pretty sad when you can't even get a slice of pizza in the mall. Yeah. People seem to like Charlie's Philly Sticks an awful lot. Yeah, those seem to hang on in a lot of the places around here. That's one of the last ones left in Chamonix. But yeah, this is a ridiculous but beautiful mall. It certainly is. It's well designed and it's well renovated. It looks like it's kept up on it. It's not dirty. Oh yeah, I've always noticed that this is a very clean place. As far as the attendance on this side, it's like you got a CBD shop, you got a, a place to get your cell phone fixed, and a T-Mobile, and that's it. And you got a place called Splash Bros also. Looks like they sell t-shirts and shoes. Basically completed the circle up top here because we're back to the pretzel place now. Yep. But I mean, just take a look at it across there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is space to be going to such a waste. I agree with you. And it's like, I wonder, I wonder if you can come here at noon and get a pretzel because all the stuff is still going, you know what I mean? I know, it's wild. It's like, you know, you've got your, like, lemonade and drink fountain still going. I mean, the slush puppy cup is still circling around. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go back downstairs because I think there's a little spot we missed down there. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit left. Yeah, there's another storefront with the downtown area where water comes from. Now, the bottom floor dead ends at a certain point. It only goes around halfway. Upstairs, goes around all the way. You know, most malls are on a hill. That's how this mall just deals with their hill. I always kind of like this little tucked in nook of an entrance for Macy's. It seems hidden. Yeah, it you seems know. like it's kind of nicely just put away here. Like it's under an awning or something like that. They're not doing anything at the downtown robotics club tonight. It's the same one. Actually, the other one is Brandy Wine, so this yeah. is downtown. It's a different one. Yeah, nothing going on at this one tonight. You gotta wonder if some of the people might be members of both. <laughs> Maybe, you know. More bang for your buck. Oh, if I was into that sort of thing, I would definitely want to be involved in as many things as possible. Oh, check this out here. They got two spots here. This is oh, also yeah. Downing Town Robotics. Yeah, 
I can't imagine the, the rent is very high for so many robotics clubs to be here. I wonder also, you know, if because it's, you know, sort of a STEM related thing, if they get some sort of a great or a discount. Who knows? I'm not into that. You got a habitat that's just closed for tonight and an alterations place. This place has been here forever, by the way. Oh, yeah, that alterations place. I don't recall a time that wasn't here. Mm-hmm. Now, the J.C. Penny, J.C. Penny was that dead anchor you saw upstairs, but on the first floor, they turned it into a round one. It's a really, really big one, too. They got a full bowling alley in there and a bar. It's the entire first floor of J.C. Penny. They used all of it. These, uh, these, these downstairs courts right here, they're always so angular, always like perfect diamonds, you know what I mean? See what I mean? It's such cool design. This is really attractive though, this view right here. Exactly, see, see what I mean? Everything was thought of in geometrically uh, sound before they built it. Now this entire hallway over here is all medical facilities. You know, come get blood work done, see your doctor. I think it's like an outpatient kind of facility. It's like an, like an outpatient doctor's facility down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what this, this mainline health stuff is. Yeah, but they just took over this entire hallway right here. Yeah, that's it. Mainline Health Center Expo. Look at outpatient facility. And they're closed for the evenings, but as you can see, they turn these inland spots into places that do not look anything like what they used to. That looks like a doctor's office, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> you gotta come down here and check out some of these murals that are along this wall. Especially the one that's about the Lincoln Highway. The Lincoln Highway one is probably my favorite in here. Honestly, it smells like a dentist office back there. It's all sterile. But yeah, this one. Route 1, Kennett Square. And this is the Gold Theater in Phoenixville. This is the one that was made famous by have a little flag inside the corner of the air where you can touch the blob. Touch the blob. <laughs> that don't sound good. Oh, yeah, there's the Lincoln Highway one up here. Yeah, there's the Lincoln Highway mural up here. This is like one of my favorites. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand back here to try and get it all in. That's cool. And then I like the railway one here too. This is nice. This is quite cool. Brandywine, Washington headquarters, Chad's Ford. Nice historical stuff. Now, this one, because it kind of like shows off the sort of like farming and agrarian history of Chester County, which this mall resides in. Well, I think that's going to about do it for this one. Thanks for taking a walk with us through the uh, seriously sad Exton Square Mall. Yeah, this is one of those places that's in some transition and flux right now. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye out on what happens over the next weeks and months. Yeah, hopefully it's for the better.
Well, on behalf of Triple R, this is Heather. Wishing you a very good evening and thanking you for watching and for all the love and support over the years we've been doing this. Yeah, thanks a lot. We really mean that. It's Triple R over and out.